So I woke up at two and I went to get some water. Now my key's not working. I woke up about 20, 30 minutes ago. I'm wide awake. I'm, I had trouble falling asleep. And this place is really, um, you know, I don't exactly feel like hanging out here any longer than I need to. And I felt like I'd make use of driving on the interstate at night when it's going to be less busy and I can cover ground faster. And then hopefully by the time I get up near Atlanta, I'll be able to switch off onto the country highways and finish the rest of the drive that way. Because it is six hours by daytime traffic. So hopefully I'll be able to go faster this way. So yeah, I have everything packed up and I'm gonna go check out. So traveling nocturnally, as I've been saying, is good. Cause I'm making good time. I'm at a steady 75 miles an hour. The highway is just barren. The only people out here are truckers. So they're all staying to the right of me, so I'm just bypassing people constantly. It's very stress-free, and I'm loving it. I only had to slow down for road work, and then one really slow truck I got stuck behind. I can tell he was on his CB radio talking to the other truckers, because they all switched into the center lane, and I just was dumb, and I didn't realize, hey, maybe something's up, and then I got stuck behind him while all the other truck was past him. There's some scary stuff out here, man. I saw a truck just coming the other way, and his lights were flickering on and off. So the orange lights that basically say, hey, here I am, were just, they went off, and then you couldn't see him at all. And I just think it's terrifying to know that there could be some however many ton truck barreling down the highway without their lights on and you would have no idea that they're there. Cause I mean, I could not see this guy at all. I'm just glad he was on the other side of the barricade. Last, I'm in Augusta, Georgia, walking to the dog since the sun's up. It's a nice morning. And I've made great progress over the night. So I'm happy. Still have three hours to go though. What I would love right now is some coffee, but I don't see anywhere to get it, and I'm not getting McDonald's coffee, because eh. Starbucks, Caribou, that's a urine bottle, oh my. There's a Checkers, and a discount meat store. Why don't you come up here? I want you to poop. Although you didn't eat yesterday. Sierra, why did you turn my seat heater on? Hmm? That's something I want to know. I have all day ahead of me. I just hope I survive Atlanta. I 
I see the mountains. Awesome. It feels really good. It's an awesome landmark to know that I'm basically off the coastal plain in the next 70 some miles. Jeez. So pretty. Everything here is so big. Boo, power lines ruining that hill. And voila, Cece, guess what? We're out of Georgia, we're in North Carolina. Heck yeah. That's good, good news, good to hear, right Cece? In order to kill time, I stopped here. Minnetonka Moccasin sign on that building, so maybe I'll be able to get slippers too. Oh, it's easy. I like the balcony. But check out that truck. I wonder how old it is. Definitely does not look like it's new. It's got a modern style front end. Hey there, stinker. Stay away from that ledge. You'll get to swim plenty, I promise you. I don't see any no trespassing signs around here. Is that a rope bridge? No, no way. There you go. Through what felt like a momentous battle, I managed to get my boots from the back of my car. So, yay me. This area that I'm driving through right now, I think is honestly some of the most beautiful road I've ever been on in my life. I mean, with the river and all the trees and just everything, it's mwah. Stuck behind a beetle. Hitler mobile. Again. I mean, I'm not tempted to listen to a podcast, listen to music, anything. I just want to enjoy the air. It's really unfortunate I can't have the back windows down too. Would you like to have that little cottage up there? That's awesome. Are you happy? <laughs> happy doggy, happy doggy. It is so pretty here. See, it really is taking charge here. Just leading the way. It's rather unfortunate that I don't have my phone tripod, but oh well. That's easy. Just leave him alone. Good girl. So proud of you. At a market. Yep. Looks like a fun place to be. Uh, you dog. You wanna go down here? Uh-oh. See ya. One for a dip. 
Can't go in deep, CC. Come on, this way. It's so hard to get good video with dogs like you. Ah uh, yes, diaper, plastic bottle, food. Come on, Cece. Nope. Let's go. Good girl. You're an expedition hound. It might be uh, worthwhile to mention that there's supposed to be some kind of wood tick outbreak. And this is their habitat, for sure. Come on, Cece. It's a good thing she has her flea and tick meds. But I don't. Sierra, come on. You're already, Cece, you stop that, you buffoon. You're already damp. That's cool. You can see the bridge. Sierra, come on, please. Of course, she's not going to listen because she's a dog. Whoa, careful there, Dingus. Cece. Sierra. Cece. Oh, no. Sierra, get back here. She's so dumb. Let me just set that there. You come here? Yeah. Crazy. Now she's heard a noise that she's scared of and running away. Her tail being down either means she's in pursuit of something or that she's upset. It's lower than it normally is. CC, please, come on. All right, so I'm at the KOA, and check-in isn't until four, so I have to kill four hours until I can get into my cabin. So right now I have two goals. One is to check in, and two is to get something to eat. In order to go to a grocery store, I need to put her in the cabin, because I have nowhere to put the food other than the passenger seat. She would probably try and eat it which would just distract me while driving, and there's all around another good idea. CC, no. Yeah, man. This place has lots of stuff. We got bike rentals, cabins, motorhomes, legitimate camp spots, showers, bathrooms, all sorts of good stuff. We got a swimming pool. A jumping thing? That looks like a kayak place. Good lord. I'm no expert on landforms and stuff like that, but I am under the impression that this is a dried up creek or riverbed. Careful there, you stinky butt. Too bad I don't have my sling. This would be a great place to get stones for it. Although I haven't finished making my sling. That's something I should do. Although my sewing kit and leather working kit is buried in my other crap. Maybe I should dig out my ukulele. How's that sound, Cece? Ukulele by the fire? I have to buy matches though. Hey, careful, CC. No, 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 no. You have fragile legs. I'm a very lucky person. I'm going on this awesome adventure, going to my dream college. I get to bring my dog. I have a house. Well, I don't like my car. I actually hate my car, but I have a nice car. I really do have it good. Careful. 
Careful. Good girl. You are just a magnificent beast. Oh my God. Take a look at that thing. That's cool. So Sierra is very much pooped. And then I gave her some water. Sadly, it's Aquafina, so it's absolutely horrible. I don't think dogs really care. As for me, I got this tiny bottle of Coke, and realizing now that it is not a twist off like most glass bottles now, it actually needs a bottle open, which I do not have. Since I don't think I've shown it to you, this is what the cockpit looks like. We have CC and a bed over here. Beneath that is my suitcase. That's her mobile bowl. Got her a pup cup earlier. Some water, her leash, a hiking leash, which my mom insisted I bring. And then down there is a muzzle and a bone that she is not interested in whatsoever. Yeah, you're a picky dog. Down there are my shoes. I have my mobile chargey thing and I'm charging my GoPro batteries. There's the GoPro, my phone holder, a gator, and a mask. That's the state of my mirror. Cannot see anything. Down here I have snacks. Uh, that is stuff I need to buy when I get to my house. That Mentos thing is full of coins. And there's my backpack. It's not much, but for right now, this is home. Home on wheels. Come on, CC. Let's go. Good girl. Now isn't that pretty? Just like you, CC. Are you gonna need help with this? Oh? Look at you! See, see, boop. Where are you taking me? There you go. I wonder if there's anything up there, but it doesn't look like it. Of course, I could be wrong. There's a lot of stairs that come up to this trail, and I had to carry her up them. It's not that she couldn't handle them, it's just I don't want her hips to get super sore. Because I want to do a lot of hiking tomorrow, but I don't want to do that if she's in pain. And by the time I got to like the near top, I was just out of breath because she's heavy. Needs to lose some weight. But Cece also made a friend down there. Some little girl asked to pet her and Cece was magnificent. 
She was so well behaved. I'm very proud of my puppy. And she let another lady pet her too. What the heck is that? Is that a quail or a chicken? Just make sure you're not under my tire, buddy. I'm still in its holster. Dad, it's all right. For right now, it's okay. No, it's not. His voice was louder and shakier than I'd ever heard it. It's not okay. Why are those on you? Oh. All right, so hot dog for tonight and some wieners. Still got a half hour left. Ugh. But time moves on always, so we'll get there.